Hi guys and welcome here to this week where today we're looking at stretch and seal tape. Now stretch and seal tape is what we use to seal up our stills. In the past or in the good old days people sealed up stills using uh, a paste that they make from flour and water. Some people use bread and water and they would take this paste, flour and water works better than bread just for the record, but they would take this paste and they would put that around the sections of the still that could possibly leak. Uh, for instance, between the boiler and the vapor chamber or where the swan's neck connects to the condenser. Those are the possible places you could have leaks. If you have a thermometer, then possibly around the thermometer as well. Now, the problem with this paste that we make is it works well. It really does work. It gets rock hard. But the problem is it gets rock hard. So the only way to remove that from the store is to kind of chisel it off or break it off using a, a knife or a screwdriver or something. And using a hard metal like that on a copper still obviously leads to damage. This is a soft metal. We don't want to damage this by now chipping away at a paste that went along, uh, along our still. It's also quite messy. So we at this leak, we switched over to silicon stretch and seal tape. Now silicon tape is temperature resistant to about 170 degrees Celsius. You still will never get that hot, so this won't melt. It's very quick and easy to use. You take the tape, you'll see there's a clear plastic layer on here. And that plastic is necessary because this tape sticks to nothing. You can see it's not sticky at all. It only sticks to itself. So you take the tape and you cut off a piece like you would need to use. You remove the clear plastic from this tape. And then you stretch it. Now, the more you stretch the tape, the tighter your seal becomes. So, when we seal up the still, this little lip here, we want to keep that in the middle of the tape. So, it's probably better if I attach this first, otherwise I'm going to have a lot of trouble. That can go onto the blooper reel. Right, so we take this tape, we stretch it, we keep it in the middle of the tape, we wrap it around like so. Obviously, it would be easier if there was something inside the stall because the weight would keep it down. And we just cross it over and there, voila. There we have it, perfectly sealed. We would do the same here, just a shorter piece, stretch it out, wrap overlapping to the bottom, and your stall is sealed. No leaks, no mess, no fuss. It's about three meters on the silicon tape, so you can use it quite a few. Uh, it will be enough for quite a few distillations. And some of the fittings you can leave um, sealed. For instance, at the condenser and around a thermometer, if you have one, you can leave that tape on there. You don't need to take it off every single time. The section over here, however, yes, that would be new tape every time because what happens is when it does get hot, it gets shrinks, it seals tighter, but if you then remove it, kind of gets brittle sometimes and it cracks or breaks and you can't reuse that section of tape. So yes, this section over here, you would have to replenish every time, but the tape's not expensive and it is safety first, as we always say, it's much safer to use than anything else. So that is our silicon stretch and seal tape.